Did you know that there's one easy step to taking better photographs of gardens? It's not about having the best camera, understanding the settings or being brilliantly talented. It's Alexandra here from the Middle Sized Garden, bringing you tips, inspiration and ideas from real middle sized gardens to yours. I got this tip from the multi award winning photographer Clive Nichols, who also does garden photography workshops. I've been on one of them and there are links to it in the description below. What he said was, if you want to be a good garden photographer, you need to get up early. I took his advice in June, which was pretty painful as dawn in June is about 4.30 in the morning. I went to Doddington Place Gardens near me because the owners have given me permission to go in early. I photographed this in June at Doddington Place Gardens just after dawn, but I really wanted to go back to do a frosty shoot. I'm showing you these photographs in the order that they were photographed this morning in December so that you can see the effect of an early morning light. In winter you'll probably only get those wonderful frosty shots in the first hour or so after dawn and I've been watching the temperature reports as I wanted to do some really good frosty garden photography. The first few times I woke up, checked my own garden and couldn't see any frost but I accidentally left my alarm on 6.30 so today, when I woke up, I went outside and saw it was frosty in my garden. Totally unprepared, I rushed about hunting for my camera battery, which was recharging, and various other bits of equipment. If you are going to get up early to photograph gardens, get everything ready the night before on a regular basis. Then I found the car was frozen into a block of ice. More delay. The car told me that the outside temperature was minus one degree, so I was a bit worried about the frost melting as soon as the sun came up. However, I got to Doddington Place Gardens at about 7.30 in the morning and there was a sort of grey light. But the outside temperature, according to the car, was minus 6 degrees. So towns really do increase the temperature. Then, just as I was leaving, quite tired, I saw this avenue of silver birches with the morning sun on the branches. It was like when my dog sees a cat, I went herring off as fast as I could go, whimpering with anxiety that the sunlight would be behind a cloud and then I got these pics. More pieces of advice, get up extra early to get the frost off the car windscreen, wear a warm hat and fingerless gloves, make sure you always have a spare battery and memory card in your equipment, get all your stuff ready the night before and take lots and lots and lots of pics. I took about 200 and it's boiled down to about 18 of the best. Frost is certainly where proper gardens with their hedges and gates and steps and walls and beds and vistas and topiary really shine. I've taken some lovely pics or pics I like in my middle sized garden but there's more scope in a professionally gardened garden so it's worth asking a good local garden if there are mornings when they'll allow photographers in early and consider local parks too or obviously if you have a friend with an exceptional garden ask them. It can be a bit tricky because you want to be there at dawn, but luckily dawn at winter is about 7am and lots of people do get up then. So do subscribe to the Middle Sized Garden YouTube channel and blog for more tips, inspiration and ideas and hit like if you've enjoyed this. Thank you.